when it comes to communicating with those we love. But as Matt King tells us, there's a new push to change all of that. When I use a fountain pen, my it's like kind of like the little black dress of handwriting, you know, it sort of dresses everything up nicely. Last June, 43 year old Sarah Bentley left her full time job to write letters in a coffee shop and inspire the rest of us to do at least half of the same. I sort of call it the equivalent of the slow communication movement, kind of akin to the slow food movement. Snail Mail Cafe spent its first two hours in existence squatting in the same bed coffee shop where we found Sarah one day later. Sarah provided Java drinkers with fancy stationery, envelopes, and stamps, and then collected their finished pieces of correspondence to mail for them, hopefully allowing the writer to rediscover something about themselves or the world around them through the pen in their hand. I remember in fourth grade, going up to my bedroom after school and practicing my handwriting because I wanted to have my own sort of handwriting style. Sarah admits she lost touch with that font. I definitely have fallen prey to what everybody else has, which is sort of jotting things down in sound bites. But time spent writing letters in coffee shops looks to fix this. For now, Snail Mail Cafe remains a pop-up in places like Daily Press, but if popular, Sarah hopes to open a permanent storefront sometime soon. Even though sending a letter is slower than sending a tweet, it's more present. Teaching us all the difference between just pressing send and physically holding something we've written and dropping it in a mailbox. In Bed-Stuy, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News. Wow, a major breakthrough at a